Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. Thanks for tuning in to another video, and today we're going to be talking about the new adventures for the week. If you enjoy the video, like and subscribe, and let's get into it. So we have a 1.5, another 1.5, and a 4 star adventure. For the first 1.5, we have Ocean's Verse. When either player plays a spell, give their weakest ally elusive this round. Pretty simple power, everyone should be able to benefit from this fairly easily. I think one of the best champions for this though would probably be Vagar, because you're going to have very cheap darkness spells you can use to kill the enemy unit's weakest unit with elusive, and then you'll be able to attack with your weakest unit, actually being able to get that nexus strike in. So that could be a pretty fun combination for this power, but honestly just about anyone will be able to take decent advantage of this. But obviously decks that have more spells readily available will be a bit better, so especially decks that generate a spell every single round, such as Lee Sin or Annie, they would be able to consistently get this off because you don't need to worry about drawing a spell. But in general, play whoever you want and you should be fine here. Next up we have Karma with Dune Striders. Each round the player's first Shreema card costs one less. And then Echoes from the Deep, the foes units have one extra health, so pretty straightforward. The three Shreeman champions are Talia, Nasus, and Kaisa. So any of those three will be able to take advantage of this first power, making their cards cost one less. So play one of those if you're wanting to benefit, but honestly this is again pretty easy adventure, only 1.5. This second power, not going to give you too much of an issue. So another adventure that you can find to play whoever you want. And then for the four star, we have Fizz. Game start, the foe gets another mana gem. Fan favorite, round start, give the foe strongest units two power and overwhelm this round. And then the vicious enemy. So this is another pretty general set of powers that is just going to make the game more difficult, but not in that specific of a way. So again, you should just be able to play whatever champion is strongest for you. That being said, you probably want to pick a champion that has a better early game to be able to deal with that mana flow and don't let the enemy outscale you. And try to have a plan for the fan favorite to either frostbite this unit or consistently kill the enemy units or just end the game before they're able to really do much. So some champions that can end the game very quickly, so you don't really have to deal with a lot of these annoying powers. You could go for like Jinx, obviously very strong champion, and then with her power, she should be able to just kill the enemy units, because every time she plays a card, she's dealing damage to the enemy units, and then she also has good removal spells. Diana, S tier champion, ends the game super fast. She also has Challenger, so she can take out enemy units if you are wanting to focus on killing them over just ending the game immediately. Jax, another very strong early game champion. Annie has a stun every single round, so you can just stun whoever gets this overwhelm. Also very aggressive early. LeBlanc, another amazing champion that can end the games quite fast and has some good removal and combat tricks. Those are just some of the better champions in the game that you might want to use this for. But again, use whatever champion you're the most comfortable with. Just go in knowing that you're going to want to try to end the game faster because you're already going to be starting off behind because they start with an extra mana gem. And then try to have a plan to deal with their strongest unit that's getting that extra power and overwhelm. So whether that's, again, just killing the unit, CCing them, or just ending the game very, very quickly. Somewhat of a mixed bag for this weekly. So two 1.5 stars is interesting. It's cool that we see a four star. And in some regards, it's nice that they're fairly simple powers that you can, in the most part, play whoever you want. But I enjoy it when there's actually very specific powers that really reward you for playing certain types of champions. So a little disappointing that these are just so general this week, in my opinion. Let me know down below though, if you like these types of weeklies where you can just play any champion, or if you prefer the weeklies that really incentivize you to play specific champions. Also, let me know in the comments down below what champions you decided to play for these adventures, and I hope you all have a great day.